Hi Jolly Jules Cruise Companion, let's have a little bit more of an explore of Carnival Luminosa out of Brisbane in December of 2022. It's such a nice ship compared to Splendour, a Spirit Vista hybrid, great colours, great decor, let's go and explore, let's have a look at some shops even. Luminosa has been sailing for Carnival since November of 2022. I have enjoyed the space in the Ocean Plaza for karaoke, for um, trivia, for different gaming. It's been an absolute wonderful addition to Carnival Luminosa. The Altair Nightclub is a wonderful welcoming space with warm decor. It's a two-storey or two-level entertainment space with a stage and dancing area. The casino holds a central area in the architecture of Carnival Luminosa. It is an over-18 venue and children can um, transit through the area with supervision of an adult. The Warehouse Arcade is a bright and noisy space for adults and children to spend some time having a good laugh and competing against some of the games that are on offer. Reclining Woman 2004 is the bronze statue in the 10-storey atrium of Carnival Luminosa, commissioned by the company from Colombian artist Fernando Batoro. The glass ceiling of the atrium is complemented with the three glass lifts that access this space. A small stage behind the bar and the supernova atrium is illuminated with some of the 120 Murano glass chandeliers in Carnival Luminosa. If we pull away and have a bird's eye view of this space, you can see how welcoming and fun it is. And we'll just glimpse another set of the Murano glass chandeliers that are around the boat. In a previous overview of Carnival Splendour, I made mention of the flooring and the decor. And one of the things I particularly liked about Carnival Luminosa is the floor actually looks like an earthy colour. So it's not confronting like that black, shiny um, reflective marble that was on Carnival Splendour. But from an architectural perspective, those silver poles are still around, but they don't seem to be as large as the ones that are on Splendour. I do apologise for not knowing the name of this bar, but it does look very inviting with that wood grain feel and those bar stools close to the action. And then when we come to the Alchemy Bar, it is a bar that is in past one of the passageways on the way to the Valor Restaurant, which was a great pre-dinner drink space. There was comfortable seating outside the main dining room where you could sit and wait for your dining reservation to be acknowledged through the app. I did like and appreciate the decor within the main dining room. It was pleasant and inviting and not confronting at all. I really enjoyed some of the decor around Luminosa, some of the original paintings or the reproductions. The Galleria shops on Deck 3 were open, light, bright and clean. The staff were absolutely welcoming, of course. Lots of sales. Fabulous Carnival themed souvenirs in the red white and blue colors but when it came to that commissary type area those things that you forgot like your shavers or body lotion or toothbrush that space was fairly small only about four shelves I'm just going to finish off here with a photo of the Christmas display by the culinary team of a cute little gingerbread village so the shops and the commissary type area are actually quite small compared to other cruise ships and definitely smaller than Splendour. But still, if you want to have a little souvenir, there's tons available for you to purchase. This is Julie Jules Cruise Companion saying stay safe everybody and happy travels.